Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking PA system. It is done by a company called Boomaker and it is modeled Lark PA01. It is a very big, again gigantic, with a huge speaker in the front that has a really nice bass to it. And also it's jam packed with Bluetooth. Also you can hook up an auxiliary wire to it, FM radio, or also you can connect your guitar and your mic to this and you can go ahead and karaoke it has a really nice echo so we will go through it one by one and see exactly what this will bring on a table for you i do not want to forget if you haven't subscribed to our channel click to click the subscribe button make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon select all in order for you to get notified once we have a new video out on top of that if you have a question drop them at the bottom of the video we love to help you out quickly and don't forget to click to click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. You can see that the box is really gigantic and it has a lot of marking around it. Really nice looking picture to it. Once we open it, and take the top off and we take everything out one by one. Here are all the components that are part of this. It comes with this warranty card and when you flip it all of the information is there that you need to fill out and this way you will have your warranty submitted so this way if anything happens to it you will be able to get your warranty done very quickly and it also comes with this user manual now it is pretty thick and it has all the information that you need inside of it on how you can use it step by step one by one and even using the remote everything is going to be covered inside of this user manual and in the back you have more information that you can get contact with them. It also comes with this auxiliary wire. Now this is 3.5 audio jack on both sides and you can see that it has three cuts. So that means you can get the proper sound out of this. Now it has to come with this power adapter and you can see the connector part is a little bit bigger. I have to mention that this is 18 volt and it is 1.3 amps. So it is going up to 23.4 watts. That's correct. And if you take this overseas, you just need the plug on the top and it will be able to pick up up to 240 volt. So in Canada, United States, we have 110 volt. So this goes from 100 volt to 240 volt. This works perfectly. Now this is between 50 to 60 hertz and roughly about 0.75 amps. When you want to connect this to the actual electricity to get your system up and running and also charged. Now it also comes with this microphone which is really nicely designed. You can see it. It has the on and off button right on it that you can use. Also it is projection is right on the top so when you talk to it you cannot hold it to the side to talk. So in order to make this work it's really from the front but it is really nice. The wire is really long too. The connector part is a little bit bigger so this makes sense why they made it this way. So when you connect it it works better. But if you want to get a little tripod for it so you can stand in front of it and hook this up and then make it work would be a lot better. But this just comes with a regular so you can hold it and you can talk to it. We will show you in a few seconds. Now it also comes with this remote control. Now you can see the remote control has a lot of functions. Now once we hook it up we will be able to play with this and show you exactly what else it will bring on a table for us. But you can see the power there, mute is there. Also your Bluetooth FM auxiliary N, USB. And then going on the bottom you can see there's an in and there's an out for music party. And you can input something to it and then output. And also you have the four-way navigation key which in this case they change it to volume up and volume down, play and pause and also rewind and also you can skip a chapter or you can skip a song and also you can you can go back to a song going down all the buttons are there that you need so in the bottom you see the the name is written really nicely when you flip it in the back it's exactly the same ir remotes that we get with android boxes and you can see that it does take two AAA batteries which is not included in the box but this is how this part looks so we will put this aside and then we're going to be able to play with it i really like how they have created this handle itself that it goes from side to the other side and it is pretty big so you gotta hold it up now another good thing is that it has this handle that you can hook it up and in this way you can carry it and you can walk with it and when i say walk with it is because it has these little tires 
and the bottom. In the back it also have this little sticker that will give you a lot more information if you have misplaced your power or more. Now going to the front part of it you have this speaker which is pretty big and then it's designed really nice too. Now I have tilted this a little bit to the front so we can see all of the connections that are on the top. So we're starting with their actual name written really nicely. Then you have two USB connections in the front. One is you can charge your phone with it. I would not suggest for a full charge because you need it for the actual device itself. Also you have one auxiliary wire which is going to be input. You have one mic input. Also you have a guitar input. Yes, you can hook up a guitar. And also your power connection is right on the top. I wish it was on the back. And also in the side of it, you have the power on and off. You have the rewind, the fast forward, and also play and pause button. You can see that you can skip also with these and also going back, or you can go forward. Also, you have the scan button. Now, this is really good for your radio. Yes, this has radio. And also, you have the equalizer, and also you have the source button here, so you can switch between Bluetooth, go into radio, and also go into the actual mic, so you can use it for your karaoke. You also have the volume, which is really cool. You can turn it. You also have the trap and the bass. These are really mandatory when you are playing with your song, so that way it sounds better. You also have the mic volume. You also have your G volume, and then the echo. The display is really nice too. It has a little film. I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to leave it like that because it looks pretty cool. So the next part is to power it up. You have to hold the power button for a few seconds. And power there you go. On. It will tell you it's on. Bluetooth. There you go. Now we're going to put it on pair. So hold the pairing button. Pairing. Now in this case, I am using my Yumi Digi. And then there you go. As soon as you go to your Bluetooth, you're going to find it right away. Now it takes a couple of seconds. You got to say pair for very connected. first time. And now we are connected. So now let's go through and play some music to see how loud this can get. So let's go to YouTube. Now this is pretty loud. So yeah, you can control the volume from here or right from the top. You can bring the volume down or up. So now you have full control on your actual music. Now we're going to make it. So you can see that it goes to a maximum number that even my meter was blinking. That means as it was too loud. And that's what I was trying to show you guys that how good the actual Bluetooth is. All right, so we can change this to go to another AUX. Now this is how you're going to be able to connect it to older type of system. But let's just change it again. You have to hold it for a few seconds. FM radio. Now you can switch. Now that was pretty loud, so you can hear it. Now you have a bunch of buttons here that you can switch. So you can see the volume control is right there, shows on the LED, but you can switch your stations one by one so you can get somewhere. Or you can scan it by just holding this for a couple of seconds. And now it will go through to figure out which station is near you. I have to mention that I am in a basement, so it's not going to really give me any type of stations right now. But it can go through to scan it for you properly. All right, so the next thing is just hold it again to see exactly where it's going to change to. Bluetooth. So went back to Bluetooth. So now when you connect the mic, you just have to connect the power itself first. So there's the mic control. So you can talk to it and then you can hear it very, very loudly. So now we have the actual sound connected and we are roughly about 20. So we're going to make it about 21. And then we're going to put the echo on this. And you can hear it that the echo works. So you can go as high as 30, and this is how the echo works. But when you go back, you can get rid of your echo, so it could be a little bit. Now this works pretty cool. Now this is really nice. You have your bass, you can get rid of your bass. And when you're playing song, now you can sing to it and it will work pretty cool. Now remember that we have to talk to it directly here. You can hear that. 
and that's why because if you do it on a side it's less than actual top so you have to talk directly to the top in order to make this work and that's, and that's how, how this, this one will be done. done and when you're not using just turn it off and it's totally done and now when you tap there is no noise to it because you have to turn it off so that's how easy it is to play with your mic now remember that if you have songs on your actual USB, you just have to connect it to the USB part, not on the USB. charger part, and A -A it will pick up. And then you will be able to just play your songs directly with these buttons that you have. And you can use your mic so you can do your karaoke very easily. And also if you need to charge your phone, just connect it to the charger and then grab your phone and go ahead and connect it in the bottom. And you will be able to see that it is charging right now. So this is not only just going to be your regular boombox for your karaoke machine, but it's also going to be able to charge your phone very easily for you. Now, one more thing that I really like to do about this is I have projector and I also have some Android boxes, which has Bluetooth connection. I'm going to connect it Bluetooth and I'm going to put this on the ground so I can listen to the actual boom sound from the movies to this. And I know it will be awesome now all the links will be available in the bottom of this video except that i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click to click the like button subscribe button on the top comment in the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is exitx.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you